maybe three days ago uh, for homeschool home ec with my kid who is home with me all day every day now. And um, someone on Instagram said that they wanted the recipe, so I thought I would hop on a quick live today and share how to do it. So to make these apple turnovers, all that you need are some diced apples, and you really want, whoop, I'll put that in the no pile. You really want small pieces. Can you see how small that is? Um, big pieces just aren't gonna work because each turnover really has a lot less apple in it than you would think. It just doesn't fit a lot because they're not very spacious inside. Uh, you also need just a little bit of cinnamon and brown sugar. This is probably more than is needed. It's like a tablespoon of brown sugar and like a teaspoon of cinnamon. Um, you're just gonna sprinkle it on. There's no even measuring. This was a very messy project done with a seven-year-old. The other thing you'll need is a tube of vegan crescent roll dough. The one that I used the other day actually was uh, crescent roll sheets instead of being cut into the triangles, but the ones that I had left are just the triangles. So I'll show you how to deal with those seams. So you end up with a sheet, which is what you really need. Next, you'll need some sprinkles for decorating, optional but so festive. And then um, a pizza cutter is nice, but you can use a butter knife if you don't have one for slicing the dough. And then you do need a fork to seal the edges. All right, so let's do this. First, break open your tube, which I guess I could have done in advance, but why do it in advance? There we go. And just pull that all out in one big piece. And then find the seam. It's here somewhere. Here it is. And just unroll the whole thing as if it was one big old piece of dough. And then you'll see, I'll hold it up for you. Don't judge my baking sheet, we're on quarantine. You can see that there's seams, it's cut into triangles, but you actually want rectangles. So you'll just go through and kind of pinch along the seams, just the triangle seams. You can leave the rectangle part because that's actually a nice cutting guide. So just pinch right along there to close it up. You could roll it out, but that seems excessive because you're not going to really see this anyway. I'm patting it down a little. It's probably not even necessary. Okay, so next, grab your pizza cutter or a butter knife. I just like how quickly a pizza cutter gets it done. And um, whoop, into rectangles. And then you can kind of separate them a little bit. So now you've got these four rectangles of dough. Now, when I'm doing this with my seven-year-old, I told him to like draw an invisible line down the middle. And he was actually uh, doing a not invisible line, which was very helpful, so I'll show you. This is just like for a guide. See the little indent that I did with my finger? Because you only wanna put apples on one side and you also need to leave yourself maybe like a quarter inch around the edges because um, you want to seal these clothes. You don't want everything to fall out. So I'll start by sprinkling a little brown sugar on each one. Let me do it on the whole thing. This crescent roll dough is on the savory side and I feel like apple turnovers are supposed to be a little more sweet. So I'm literally just like rubbing it in. And of course, I washed my hands first because I've washed my hands approximately 11 times today alone. So once you do that, it's apple time. And you want these apples cut into pretty small pieces because it really is like one tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of apple. And you just place them on one side here. I actually remember in high school, home ec, we made pizzas using crescent roll dough. And I remember just thinking that that was the most magical thing. Just what gave me the idea to pull out the crescent roll dough in our fridge to do a little home ec with my kiddo. Um, speaking of, he and my husband are home. So if you hear any weird noises in the background, 
that is my family living their life on a Wednesday. All right, so got the apples on there. I'm gonna try and show this to you without dumping out the apples, but you can see just little piles, like a tablespoon or two. Not too much, because you don't wanna have the dough break on you when you fold it in half. All right, so then sprinkle a little more brown sugar on top. This is optional, but it's quarantine. We deserve a treat. Put some brown sugar on there. And then a little cinnamon too, just a little. You don't wanna over cinnamon it, just like a pinch on each one. All right, and it's folding time. So just fold them right over like this, and then use your fork to press all the way around the edges to get a nice seal, and it gives you like this pretty, you over, pretty decorative edge. go and then repeat that with the rest of your turnovers I just heard my kid come in from outside so you might hear his sweet voice shouting in the house so two more Last one. Yep. Oh boy, I lost some apple. Get in there, apples. You too, brown sugar. Oh, this dough, when it starts to warm up, it's a little bit softer to move. That's why it's getting sloppy. All right, there we go. And then the last step is to decorate. So I've got my sprinkles here and um, we kept it messy and it was kind of fun. Just kind of like place the sprinkles on top and then just patted them right down. You do want to pat them because these are curved on top and otherwise the sprinkles are just gonna all roll onto your baking mat and that is no fun. really get into it because I seem to have grabbed a lot of sprinkles. All right. So here they are. They are ready to go in the oven. They're all sprinkled up. So these go in the oven at 375 for I think it's 12 minutes. You'll follow the instructions that were on the tube, which I'm just gonna grab and cheat real quick. Whoop. Yes, 375 for 12 minutes. And when they come out, I have one left over from the other day. They'll look like this beautiful one. This was decorated by a seven-year-old and sealed by a seven-year-old. You can see even his imperfect sealing came out pretty great. They are delicious. They're a nice treat or even like a dessert. I mean, how much worse are they for you than like a pancake with maple syrup, right? And that's it. As always, if you have any questions about this recipe that I didn't address in the video, feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm always happy to help. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. Happy cooking!